We're glad that I'm gonna chill in the day, y'all one more again. This your time, Hunter Day Punson. Tell the island, South Carolina, in the Gullah Geechee Nation. Well, St. Helena Island, South Carolina, is the only sea island left on the South Carolina coast with a contiguous Gullah Geechee community throughout 95% of the entire island. And it's still 90 to 95% all Gullah Geechee owned and operated. So when Hunter wants to see the true thing and want to know who we be, this year the way Hunter have a come for Sea Week for truth. Because we have on St. Helena what's called a Cultural Protection Overlay District, which is part of the Zoning District Standard Ordinance. So it prevents things that would be detrimental to Gullah culture being built and created on St. Helena. So in St. Helena, you still see open space. You don't even see gates largely around people's own yard, unless they have a dog, or a horse, a cow that they don't want to get out. Other than that, you see us living in the wide open the way our ancestors did. You still see us farming. You still see us going down to the creek, catching food. You see all that. Wearing on Hilton Head, you would only see that usually if a festival or someone stages something for you to actually get a glimpse at it. You're using your this hands good, to do good baking things. food. I don't like things out of the can, though. Right. I don't like things out the can too bad. There's too much things out the can. I, I don't know how long it was in there. Mm -hmm. So I want my thing kind of fresh. And I can have it fresh. I got a trick right in front of my dough. I can catch all these foods that I that I make here now. The fish. Um, no, I, I oh I can even get the peaches around here right off the trees. They were just growing the other day. What's interesting is a lot of people will come here now to Beaufort County, South Carolina, and the first thing they think about is the beach. Second thing they think about is golfing because the world has come to know Hilton Head, which is a major golf resort and Fripp Island, same thing. Wherein before, people were coming here for fishing and hunting and seeing their family and family reunions. So you have a difference in even the mentality of the people that are coming in. So as we say, we the Binyang, we in the Gwai, no we. So then the come in thing, the coming in, they want some other rest of thing. So now the new people who are moving in, they're looking for a commercial atmosphere and recreation, wherein the people who lived here are looking at cultural continuation. So you look at the family compounds where you could grow your food, where you could just walk down to the creek and catch your food, where you and your family headed the shrimp together and you did everything right there. And wherein now people are going to stores. And so that's taken away from the culture and keeping it going. It's also infecting people's health and affecting people's health because they now don't know what's in those package boxes that they're getting when they go to the store. So there's a whole lot of shift in the dynamics, not only architecturally, but culturally, because of the building and the influx of new people has caused the dispersion and the removal of a lot of the native people who are here, who are the Gullah Geechis. A ring shout is actually a spiritual movement and it actually has the spirituals, which are officially South Carolina state music that Gullah Geechee has created as the base of them and the sound. So when you have a whole circle of people, they start to move around and their feet, your feet never leave the floor. So it's not a dance, it's a spiritual movement because at the point where your feet start leaving the earth, it's considered you're dancing now, as opposed to the spirit is moving you. And so you have people that will go into trance, you have people that start speaking in tongues, you have people that are still singing, you have a whole cacophony of connection. There's this whole syncretization of Africa that happens when a shout is truly happening. Now people are out here staging this, that's what we call ring play. That's not a ring shout. A ring shout happens in the spirit and it's only guided by the Spirit. So you can't say how long it's gonna be. You can't say, oh, you start now and stop now, or at the end of the song, you're done. It doesn't work like that. So however the Spirit continues to lead it, the drums are there, the, the stamping sticks are there, the feet are there, the hand claps are there, the voices are there, and so it all carries. And so it just goes on until the Spirit brings it back down. And then you go out with a whole new energy. Oh, well, usually if we greet one another, say, what's well, going on? How hundred to do to thee? How they body, thing like that. So that's how we usually would greet one another. So it could be any one of those things. Most times we just be, girl, how hundred to do? And it's a hug right after that. As I always say to people, hunter must take care of the root for heal the tree. And so one thing our elders always told us is that if hunter ain't know where hunter to deer from, hunter ain't quite know where hunter to gwine. So you have to go back to the roots of your culture. And that way, once you know what it is, you have a lot of guidance going forward 